Sometimes our hard disk crashes or due to virus or our windows get corrupted. So we lost our very very important data and we can't do anything about it except disappointment. So today I'll show you how to backup data without any extra effort and free. Stick around, I'll show you how. Please subscribe my channel, like and share and hit the bell icon for more informative videos. So what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button below. First we will type in search Chrome, Google Chrome, we will open it and then we will search Dropbox and press enter. Then you can see here Dropbox, just click here. Then there is an option of download. So just click on the download. And then they are asking to download Dropbox. So just click it. Now you see, uh, they will ask you to save the Dropbox. So uh, right now I am saving in my downloads. So I'm just clicking on the save here. It will take a while to download. And then you can click here on the left side just click here so it opens now it will ask for the permission just click yes and now it started downloading it will take a while to download so just be patient and wait for it to download completely Now it's finalizing the installation process. We can minimize this. Okay, so now uh, after the installation, you have to uh, sign in to this. So they are giving you different uh, options like sign to Google, sign in with Apple. So you can use uh, in MacBook also, and you can use in uh, Android, uh, Windows PC also. So right now I want to sign in by my Google account. So I'll just click here and then it's asking uh, permission continue signing Google. I'll click on it. Now you can see here that they, they will show my accounts here. So my account is here. So I'll just click on this and it will ask for the password. So you, you need to enter the password and if you don't have uh, any account already signed in, then uh, you can write the username and the password. So my account was already signed in with Google Chrome uh, as my email address. So it just uh, showed me the password because my password was also auto save in this PC in this laptop. So just I'll click on next. Okay, now it will ask for the permission uh, to allow the Dropbox. So I'll click on allow. Now I'll click on the continue installation. and saying well done Dropbox installed. I click on next here. Now they are asking how to uh, sync your files. So it has two options. Use a space on your hard drive to download Dropbox files and access them offline. So I prefer this because uh, if, if it is your own PC, then you can choose this because uh, uh, you can access your files easily. You, you need not to uh, go online every time you can use it offline also so the first option I choose here and then I'll click on continue with basic and now uh, it is asking you that you want to uh, back up your desktop documents usually what happens uh, most of us keep things on the desktop uh, so it will sync your desktop also and documents also these are two important folders In download I don't recommend because sometimes you are downloading uh, heavy files so it will be syncing that also so that will be taking our Dropbox right now I don't want to stick either of them uh, so I'll just unclicking all of them because I keep all my stuff in Dropbox and this is the beauty of the Dropbox or any other uh, backup device like Google Drive so that is the beauty of it I'm setting up my new laptop but all my data will sync immediately and I don't have to worry about my data on my previous laptop so you'll click on not now continue to drop box. See here the icon appears here. So if I click on it, it's syncing my file. So all my files will be synced uh, immediately uh, 
in 10 minutes or 15 minutes depending on the storage I have uh, depending on the files I have in my Dropbox so I have nearly 1.5 GB data so it will be syncing it so you see you can easily link uh, your device with the Dropbox and then your data will be saved you, I need not to worry that I need to copy my data from old laptop to this new laptop automatically my device will be updated uh, with my data now the most important thing which I want to tell you now that how you will save the things in your Dropbox now for example I open Microsoft Word or any other software and you have opened any document I will take new blank document now if you type anything So see this is the text I have written now you can write anything you can make your paper or anything whatever you want to do in the word or if you want to save any sort of document uh, word word document excel document or any notepad anything then uh, when you are saving it when you click on the save uh, make sure that do not save in the uh, desktop or the documents just double click on the PC and then on the left side you will see here Dropbox so just click on the Dropbox now uh, you can just save it here or if you want to make a folder for example if you are teaching chemistry physics or any subject or uh, whether even you are not a teacher you are uh, want to save any sort of document so just make a folder for it that will be easier for you to locate this is uh, the title subscribe my channel so I will make a new folder name as subscribe and then I will double click on it and then I'll click on save and then I'll close it so what will happen that file will be saved in my Dropbox so that will be saved in my computer also and that will be available online anywhere for example if I go to my job uh, place and there I open the computer now you can use uh, any web browser uh, to access your file so right now I'm opening Microsoft Edge so I'll just write dropbox.com and I'll click on sign in and you see it's auto save so it, it is here but if uh, your password is not saved you can just write it here and write the password and click on sign in now you click on subscribe folder to check our file now you can see in subscribe folder there is subscribe my channel and it is already there so you can easily download it and you can use this file you can also drag and drop any uh, file to the Dropbox folder also for example if I am in all files and uh, for example I want to save any file so what I will do quickly I will uh, make one note, notepad now this is the text I have written it I will save it for example in my documents so if I open the documents so this is the file so I'll just drag and drop here and you see it is started uploading so in this way you can also upload any file and it's quite easy I hope this video was super helpful for you so why don't you give me a like subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it till yet and hit the bell icon as I upload informative videos every week. Take care. Bye. Allah Hafiz.